I want to place my multi-lines on the roads layer, so I use the layer drop-down list to switch to the roads layer. To start the multi-line command, I type ML for multi-line. I right-click and select Justification. I select the top justification. I start the multi-line at the intersection of Myrtle Street and West Taylor Street. There's a slight jog at Laurel Street, so I select the point there and angle the multi-line slightly to the intersection with Stockton Avenue. I press Enter to exit the command. I repeat the multi-line command by right-clicking and selecting Repeat M-Line. I pick on the style option on the command prompt to change the style. I've already forgotten the style name I used, so I can press the question mark to list all the multi-line styles available in the drawing. AutoCAD lists the M-Line styles available. I type single lane to make single lane the current multi-line style. I draw a multi-line up Myrtle Street, one block past Emory Street. I repeat to place a multi-line on Elm Street. I place a multi-line on Laurel Street. I place a multi-line on Emory Street and Stockton Avenue. My last M line is on Asbury. Now I need to clean up some of the intersections. I select the Extend tool. I press Enter to select everything in the drawing as a boundary. I select the Laurel Street M line. AutoCAD prompts me if I want a closed, open, or a merged intersection. I select O for open. The intersection cleans up. I right click and select repeat extend. I continue using the extend tool to clean up the necessary intersections. When I'm prompted, I can select the closed, open, or merged intersection. To edit my crossed intersections, I use the ML Edit tool. I type ML Edit. A dialog box appears with the different ways multi-lines can be merged. I select the open cross. I then select the intersections where I want the open cross intersection applied. I remain in the ML Edit command and can continue selecting intersections until all the desired intersections have been cleaned up. Once I am done, I press Enter to exit the command. I am not seeing the dashed or center lines that were applied in my multi-line styles. To see them, I need to adjust the line type scale on my multi-lines. I select one multi-line. I right-click and choose Select Similar. All the multi-lines are selected. I right-click and select Properties. I change my line type scale to 100. I press Escape to release my selection. Now I can see the center and dashed line types. In this video, we reviewed some techniques to use when creating and modifying multi-lines. I used an attached image as an underlay to help me place my M-lines. I adjusted the image's appearance using the fade control on the ribbon. I created a couple of multi-line styles using different colors and line types. I used the Extend tool and the ML Edit command to modify my multi-lines. I also used Properties to modify the line type scale used by the multi-lines.